Today we'll be using Excel for project cash flow management. In a previous video, we discussed how to calculate cash flows in project management. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now we want to predict whether the project generates a surplus or deficit of cash in Excel. We can use Excel's basic functions such as SOM to aggregate cash inflow and outflow. Also a line chart with markers can be used to plot cash flow diagrams. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Let's focus on a telecommunication or IT project and we can follow only four simple steps in Excel to complete cash flow management for our project. Step one is to calculate and plot cumulative outflows for the project. Let's start by analyzing the provided spreadsheet, accounting for six project activities starting with site surveying and ending with installation and activation of the network. All activities are planned to be completed in 13 weeks and budgeted over their duration. Site surveying, for example, has a cost of $3,000 in week 1, $5,000 in week 3, and $5,500 in week 4. We are able to calculate cumulative outflow by using the basic sum function in Excel. Click on the relevant cell for week 1 and press the equal sign. Then use the sum function to add up all expenses that occurred in the first week. We follow the same procedure for week 2 and also add the results to the previous week's outflow. The formula is then duplicated for the length of our project, which is 13 weeks here. We can quickly plot project outflows by selecting the range of cells. Note that a range of 15 cells are selected for plotting, since we want to overlay inflows later on, and there is always a delay in releasing payments and also project retainage. From the insert menu, choose line chart with markers. A slope of line sections shows the rate of cash expenditure over the weeks. This concludes the first step in project cash flow management using Excel. Step 2 is to calculate overheads and margins to provide invoices to the project owner or client. This project has a weekly invoicing cycle, so we start by calculating weekly outflows. This can be done by summing up expenses on a week-by-week -week basis. The contractor needs to add overheads and profit margin, which is 25% in this project. To calculate this, click on the relevant cell for week 1 and then press equal sign. Then multiply the occurred expenses in the first week by 25%. The formula is then duplicated for the length of our project, which is 13 weeks here. The weekly invoice issued to the client will be the sum of weekly outflows and the 25% of overheads and contractors margin. We can duplicate the formula in week 1 to generate invoice values for the rest of our project duration. This concludes the second step in project cash flow management using Excel. Step 3 is to calculate withheld payments or retention and cumulative inflows or contractor receivables. So far, we have taken the contractor's perspective and prepared weekly invoices, but we should look at cash flows from the client's perspective as well. Retention is a common risk management strategy to ensure that contractors fulfill their contractual obligations and deliver satisfactory workmanship. Therefore, in our example, 5% of weekly invoices over the 13 weeks is calculated in the relevant cells. The invoice processing takes one week on the client's side, and therefore the contractor receives the first payment in week 2. To calculate the payment amount, click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then select the invoice value of $3,750 and deduct the retention of $188. The contractor's receivable amount is then duplicated for future weeks, and the final payment of $14,250 will be made in week 14. Note that retention is released after project completion and based on contractual arrangements. In this example, it is released in week 15 after the final invoice has been cleared in week 14. To calculate the total retention value, click on the relevant cell in week 15 and press the equal sign. Then use the sum function in Excel to add up retentions from weeks 1 to 13. We are able to calculate cumulative inflow now. The inflow for week 1 is zero due to a week of lag in payments. For week 2, click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then use the sum function to add up this week's payment to the previous week's inflow. We follow the same procedure for weeks 2 to 14. Finally, the total retention value of $15,044 is added to the cumulative inflow in week 15 to reach the final value of $300,875 for the cumulative inflow. We can quickly plot project inflows by right-clicking on the chart border and from the menu choosing Select Data. First, check that horizontal or category access labels extend to the desired time, which is 15 weeks here. Then under Legend Entries, click Add. For series name, select Cumulative Inflow on the spreadsheet. 
For series values, select 15 cells related to inflows and press OK. This concludes the third step in project cash flow management using Excel. Step 4 is to calculate net flows and plot the diagram. Now we can calculate project net flow by finding the difference between cumulative inflows and outflows. First click on the cell for week 1 net flow and press the equal sign. Then select cumulative inflow for week 1 minus cumulative outflow. Finally, we can duplicate the formula in week 1 to generate the net flow figures for week 2 to 13. For week 14, the paid invoice amount of $14,250 is added to the net flow in the previous week. For week 15, the release retention is added to the net flow of week 14. We can quickly plot project net flows by right clicking on the chart border and from the menu choosing select data. Under legend entries, click add. For series name, select net flow on the spreadsheet. For series values, select 15 cells related to net flows and press OK. You can enhance the visualization using the options in chart tools under the design tab. From quick layouts, you can choose a suitable choice such as layout 5 or layout 7. We can add project cash flows as the chart title. Also, we can change colors and select a suitable colorful palette such as number 4. This concludes the fourth step in project cash flow management using Excel. The beauty of this four-step solution is the provided insights on whether our project generates a surplus or deficit of cash. The negative net flow figures in weeks 1 to 5 and also weeks 7 and 10 show that we have a deficit of cash over those periods. This can be visually validated when the net flow diagram falls below the zero line and into negative regions. And there you have it, an easy management of project cash flows using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.